Hello, welcome to an e-demo on retail reporting in Victor Web. Today, we're going to take a look at how we can use Victor Web's retail reports functionality and how that uses Video Edge's video intelligence functions. So let's take a look at how we can first set that report up. So I'm going to go up to the setup button and I'm going to choose reports and I'm going to go ahead and choose the plus button there to create a new report. And the first thing I'm going to do is enter a name for it. I could also enter a description there if I wanted to and now I need to choose the report type from this drop down. The options in there are retail and burrs and in this case I'm going to be running a retail report so I'm going to choose retail. And you'll see underneath there we get a further drop down which has some other options in it so I can choose to run an engagement report, a queue report or a traffic report. What I'm going to do is a traffic report and that is essentially using the video edge enter exit video intelligence rules. So let's choose traffic report and you'll see then that the parameter section expands out to allow me to choose the enter rule and the exit rule. So let's first of all choose the plus next to the camera. I can expand out the devices section and then the recorder itself and just find the camera which has that rule set up and choose the save icon there and you can see it pulls in that enter rule and again I'm going to choose the camera for the exit rule in the same way I'm going to expand devices and expand the recorder itself and then find that specific camera and again choose the save icon and Victor Webb is going to go out to the video edge and find that rule okay so that configured the next thing we need to configure is the date and time to run the search on. So I'm going to expand out the date and time section and there's two options in there. I can choose predefined so I can select a date and time from this list. I'm going to go for the last seven days and I also have the option to select custom there and enter a custom start and end date and time. Okay. I'm just going to expand out the schedule section and you'll see if I put a check in the add schedule box there we will get some options to schedule the report. So that's going to make it run automatically based on whatever I select there. I'm just going to uncheck that. And then we have this email section, which if I check the add email box, will allow us to send an email of that report when it is run. So that's going to be using either an existing email template, which is what we have selected by default here. Or if I choose new, that will allow me to enter an email into that section. So let's uncheck that and I'm going to go ahead and save this report and you'll see it is then displayed in the list on the left hand side and if I select it it's going to give me all of the options which I've selected and I can make edits if I need to as well. So to run that report I'm going to go up to the monitor menu and I'm going to choose reports and you'll see we have two panes here. So on the left hand pane we have a list of all of the reports which we have created and on the right hand pane we have all of the reports which have been run already. So let's run the report which we just created. I'm going to select it and I'm going to choose the run icon at the top here. And you'll see then we get a new line and that is our current report. You'll see in the preview column there we get the icon indicating that it is running and when it's complete we have this PDF icon. So I can just select that and it's going to open up this report in a PDF viewer within Victor Web itself. And if I scroll through there, you'll see that we have all of the data and we have some charts showing the enter and exit there as well. What I can do here is I can either close this out or I can choose download. That's going to download that PDF to the browser's default download location. 